Hello and welcome to the channel. Barriers to local inference have dropped to a new low. On your screen, you see a chatbot which you can use to talk to Meta Llama 3.1 and various other models locally in your browser without any setup, without any installation and without any API key, all for free and private. The model gets downloaded first time you do the inference on your local browser in the browser's cache and then you can subsequently talk with it. All the chats, all the conversations remain on your system. They don't leave it. This is what we call the best mode of local inference where you don't have to worry about any sort of installation and setup. You st do still need a GPU and you would need to enable the web GPU in your browser and I will shortly show you how to do that. But just imagine that now the things have improved so much that you are running LLMs in your browser. I already have done another video where I have went into gone into mo way more detail about the web LLM which is the inference engine behind this web LLM chat tool which is primarily the utility which is enabling you to do this private AI chat interface with a user friendly design and this is leveraging web GPU. So if you're interested, you can just search with web LLM on my channel and you should be able to find it. And I have already covered this Meta's Llama 3.1, this one on my channel in the last two days. I have done around 10 videos from every angle from installation to fine tuning and to check out the capabilities of both full and uh, quantized version of this model so if you're interested please check it out one of the questions which I have received most on the videos is that how can people run it in their browser without any setup and it was a hard one but thankfully this web LLM has released this and now we can easily use it now in order to start using it all you need to do is to select your model this is the model which is already selected as you can see in the browser if i click on this you can see that not only you can go with this quad you can go to select different quantization and then you can even go with other models too like hums topru uh, and then you have phi3 you have mistral you have open hums wizard math small lm which we already have covered already on the channel unto model Gemma, and the list goes on and on and this will keep growing so in order to do the inference, all you need to do is just ask a question like what is happiness, press enter and then it is first time it is going to fetch all of these parameters, the layers and it is going to load it. So first time it is going to take this time and then subsequent should be good enough. So let's wait for it to finish and depending on your internet speed, uh, it, this is going to take that much time accordingly. Now, while it runs, let me give you a bit more. Okay, there you go. So it's already done there. I will get to the features later. So there you go. So the model is all running locally and giving you the response in the markdown format. How good is that? You can even go with the quick prompts, which is simply AI generates the prompts for you. You can edit them from here and then you can uh, clear the context just by clicking here now if you want to set up the settings of the response if you're not happy with the response just click on settings you can select your default model you can set various parameters here like you can set um, temperature here you can set temperature just determines the creativity of the response if the value is between zero and one the higher the value the more creative the response will be the lower the value it won't be it will be deterministic it won't change that much top p is also called as nucleus sampling it controls the proportion of probability distribution to consider when randomly selecting the next word with lower values resulting in more focused and less diverse text and then we have max token we determine that how many tokens it is going to generate and then there are two penalty parameters presence penalty penalizes the model for repeating the same concept or topic, encouraging more diverse and novel responses, whereas frequency penalty discourages the model from repeating the same words or phrases, promoting more varied and less repetitive language. And then 
there are few other stuff which you can set if you like they are not really that important for example you want to set your message count all that stuff you can set your theme as you can see right now theme is auto you can go with the dark one which is i guess better language is english you can select any other language if you are using a multilingual model and then you can set your font size and few other stuff and then click on next to go back to your screen and there you go now sometimes what happens is that you are unable to run this in your browser and the main reason is that even if you have gpu and it is not accepting it it means that you have to enable couple of flags in your browser now let me to uh, here be upfront it won't run in every browser for example i don't think so you would be able to run it in safari you might to be able to do some hacks but not really i have also seen it struggling in firefox the best browser i have seen this running is chrome at the moment but even with chrome in its default format you won't be able to run it so you would need to enable two flags so let me show you how to enable the flags for web gpu which is simply a browser accelerator to run this model so in your chrome browser open a window then just type this chrome colon double slash flags enable unsafe web gpu press enter make sure that this unable unsafe web gpu support is enabled by default it is disabled so make sure that you enable it that you need to do and then another flag you need to enable is called as vulkan you need to enable the vulkan press enter here let me press it enter here again so this is just simply a graphics backend make sure that it is enabled by de by default it is disabled and then you would have to restart your chrome as you can see both are already enabled so i don't have to rest uh, restart my browser but once that's done you should be able to do the local inference with this gpu and you can simply play around with this llama 3.1 which is a sublime model really i mean in terms of quality and everything else so as i mentioned earlier if you're interested in learning more about this backend inference engine it also comes with a web llm inference engine which you can install in your network and you can ask your user to access that and then it will start serving this model to you so this can be totally private and local on your network i already have done the video on it as how to do it so that's it guys i hope that this was useful and uh, it will help you out if you are just looking to run it through your browser privately i will drop the link to it in video's description so do check it out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching